Hi everybody. Uh, today we are going to be mixing neutrals, specifically the color gray. The best way that I like to do this, I typically do not paint with black. Occasionally I will, um, but normally I don't. I will mix my own neutrals and my own grays. And to do this, I use the opposites from the color wheel. So the opposite of blue is orange. So I will take ultramarine blue and a little bit of cad orange. And mix these together. And sometimes the color is so dark you can't see it, so I'm adding a little bit of titanium white. Now I'm working on a glass palette that's from an auto supply store. Uh, you can get them for really cheap that way. And it's tempered glass, so it does have a slight blue tint to that. So I'm letting you just know that when you're watching at home. So this is chromatic black. If I take chromatic black with a little bit of white, this is a true neutral gray. So this will almost act as our constant where the color grays, the grays that we're making using opposite colors are going to be our variable. The next one that we would make is then red. And for this, I'm gonna make use naphtha red makes a lovely pink when you add white. And I'm actually gonna use a phthalo green. Oh, so pretty. And they're just rich, lovely blacks. If you look at the blacks next to that, um, even the blacks next to each other, this is just a lovely warm black. So I'm gonna add white so we can see and compare this back. And it's just slightly warmer. A nice warm a nice warm gray. And this was definitely slightly cooler. third way we could do this, which is to take a tertiary color that's made with two of the primaries, uh, it's made with your blue and your red, is to take your purple. For this, I'm going to use dioxazine purple. Opposite on the color wheel of that is yellow. And this, because it's not two opposite primaries, makes a lovely, lovely brown. white to this we can compare that back this is much warmer than our chromatic black so one practice to start learning how to see color and how to mix is to go from our grays that we've made our neutral grays and to try to mix it back to our chromatic black. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but I'm gonna mix, get this brown out of the way real quick. So if I take this, mix it with this. To me, that looks a little bit more blue. It still has a cool. So I'll go back in, add a little bit of blue to this. 
looks almost too much blue. So I'm gonna try adding a little bit of yellow. Oops, that got really light. And this still looks too warm. Oh, they're fairly similar. So the goal is to look at the color that you have and compare it back to your chromatic color, your chromatic gray. That way mixed with chromatic black, which is why I'm calling it chromatic gray. And to try to get whatever you're working on back to that and by deciding if it's warm or cool. If I could look at this, how am I gonna get this back to that? This looks pink, that looks more blue. Add a little bit of blue. It's pretty close, still needs a little bit more blue. It might leave a little bit more green. Definitely needs to be cooler. And you get the idea that we just want to keep going back and working on seeing warms and cools, even in grays and neutrals. And that's it. Thanks for watching.